as well as Miami. Sam. All right. Well, this is an interesting story, Jen, that I've been wanting to hear why and what's going on behind this. You may have heard about tearing a dam down somewhere in America during a period of drought. So after nearly three years of work to tear down a 100-year-old dam, uh, the 106-foot-high San Clemente Dam on the Carmel River in California is being taken down because it actually poses a danger to 1,500 homes downstream. Officials say the $84 million project is a win for the environment, too. The river, I understand, has already been rerouted around this area, but let's find out what's going on here. Catherine Sedman is with California American Water. Hey, Catherine, good morning. Nice to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about it. This dam built in um, 1912, I think, if I'm right. So we have a whole different level of water needs than we had back then. We don't need it anymore, basically, right? Absolutely, and actually constructed in 1921. At the time, it was the primary source of water supply for the area. But over time, the dam has filled with sediment, dirt, and gravel, and today is 95% filled with sediment. That's 2.5 million cubic yards. Um, so it is really no longer a primary source of water for the area and hasn't been since 2002. Now, taking this thing apart is a big, big, big project. And what will happen when it's left, when, when it's gone? What happens to the natural environment there? What should be happening there? Sure. Well, it will be absolutely beautiful. The goal is that you should not even be able to tell that a dam was ever there. We have a threatened species of fish on the river, and for nearly 100 years, that dam has gotten in the way of their migratory life cycle. So there are biologists around the country with their eyes on this project and just waiting to see how that species will be restored once the dam is removed. All right, so the, the, the alarming thing when you hear we're in the middle of a drought and we're tearing a dam down, this has nothing to do with any of that. This is an area where the water's already been rerouted. It's not necessary for the people around it, and it may actually help us reclaim some of the species that are in that area and kind of give them a place to thrive. When will we be able to go and visit this area and see what it's done? That's actually another great aspect of the project is that when it's complete, 928 acres of pristine watershed will be donated to the Bureau of Land Management. So that will all become open public land, in fact, contiguous with other parklands. Um, so another great public benefit that um, all of this beautiful terrain in California will now be um, public, uh, able to be accessed by the public. All right, Catherine, I think I understand it a little bit better. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning. I can't wait to see some images of all of that as well. So when you get out there, share some pictures uh, so we can put them up on AMHQ, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Nice to see you. Um, so 